Thank you. New at 11, the father of a man shot to death during the FBI's investigation into the Boston bombings is here in Tampa tonight trying to get answers. Abdul Baki Todashev's son Ibrahim was killed while being questioned by the FBI about his ties to the Boston Marathon bombing suspects. And now this father is pursuing his legal options. Our Alex Hobson joins us live tonight with the latest on this story. Alex? Tonight, we know Todashev is right here in Tampa. He was just here meeting with the Council on American Islamic Relations. We hear he also has plans to meet with the ACLU, and there could be a very big lawsuit at the end of all of it. Our camera was rolling as Abdul Baki Todoshev visited with the Council on American Islamic Relations today, here in Tampa, a long way from home. Todoshev flew in Monday from Russia to try to get answers about his son's death. Back in May, Todashev's 27-year-old son, Ibrahim, was gunned down in his Orlando home during an FBI interrogation. He was reportedly being questioned about his friendship with the eldest Boston bombing suspect and his possible involvement in an unsolved triple homicide that happened in Massachusetts back in 2011. Earlier reports suggested that Todashev became violent during the interrogation, leaving one of the officials in the room to shoot him to death. Those who knew him immediately said they couldn't believe it. He didn't do nothing. He, he, I know him. He, he, he just wanted everything to be over. But months later, the details surrounding what happened in that living room are still unclear. And the medical examiner's office told ABC Action News his autopsy report was being withheld at the request of the U.S. government. So Todashev came in person to pursue his legal options with the help of the advocacy group CARE. According to Time.com, Todashev is planning to sue the FBI for his son's wrongful death. Todashev declined to do an interview with us today, but we did reach out to the FBI, and a spokesman told us they are continuing to conduct a review of the shooting incident. He actually called their review process both thorough and objective and said it will be conducted as expeditiously as possible under the circumstances. Reporting live in Tampa tonight, Alex Hobson, ABC Action News. Thank you, Alex.